I had an opportunity to visit Newport, Rhode Island, a city on the Atlantic coast known for its summer residences for the rich and famous. The city has opulent mansions, some of which are still inhabited, but others are managed by the Preservation Society, which collects tourist admissions and funds from other sources. Newport, Rhode Island once had 24 lighthouses that provided mariners a beacon of light, warning them of danger. In the Gospel today, Jesus said of his followers that we are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its flavor, it is no longer good for anything. He also said, we are the light of the world and that our light must shine and in shining reveal good deeds and glorify God. What did Jesus have in mind when he said, we are the salt of the earth? Yes, salt, the condiment, does provide a unique flavor to foods. In fact, I dislike it when meal or meats rather are marinated and I cannot add salt and pepper and enjoy the flavor of the salt that has been diluted by the sauce. But salt is also a preservative. And it seems to me that maybe Jesus had that in mind as well, if not more so than salt as a flavoring. In ancient times and before the advent of ice and refrigeration, meats, fish were salted to preserve them so that they would last and not spoil. As I passed several of the opulent mansions on my walk, there were signs indicating that they were now in the hands of the Preservation Society. They were preserved, but they stood empty. And the only life that they now contain was seen in the lines of tourists. And in my eyes, they had lost their flavor they were no longer a home, but became a museum. Is there a message in this for us today regarding our faith and our responsibility to ensure that our faith does not lose its flavor? A lighthouse was pointed out to me, one of two of the original 24 that guided mariners who approached the rocky Rhode Island coast. It operates today as a living museum where you can stay overnight and become a lighthouse keeper. I think Jesus had more in mind for us when he said we are the light of the world and we need to be actively shining our good deeds for all to see and in doing so give glory to God. We all know what salt is and what it can do. We all know what light is and what it can do. And from the two examples that I used, we all know what can happen when they no longer are used in a way that God probably intended when he addressed his disciples and us today. Be salt and ensure the grace of our baptism remains vital and alive. And be a beacon of light that others seeing will be assured that all will be well, all will be well.